the conversation about a book tower was the number one of all time upvoted post in Raid Shadow Legends. So we're going to talk about it. But first, I want to thank you guys for almost 1,700 subscribers. Um, it's been a long journey. I enjoy hanging out with you guys. This is really fun for me. I feel like I can just talk and communicate and um, you know share everything going on within Raid with you guys, the community. So you day one people, thank you. People who are just joining, thank you. Hope you guys enjoy the content. For those of you who are new and don't know, I have two other channels. This is a horror gaming channel that I do where I uh, play horror games and I'm kicking that off. So this is pretty fun if you want a good, nice little story or just hang out with me or see me in the other con in other contexts other than Raid. And I also have a video game review slash uh, essay type channel that I do where I, you know, I write a whole script and I, I uh, review video games. But I'm going to start doing psychoanalytical uh, critiques and video essays for video games, talking about the inspirations behind horror games like, I don't know, Silent Hill. And um, yeah, that's going to be fun. So if you're interested in that, don't don't be afraid to check these out. So it's been said before, but this needs repeating. Polarium needs to add a book tower similar to Minotaur. Instead of scrolls, it drops pages. Lower level drop rare page or lower levels drop rare pages. Mid levels drop epic pages and end levels drop legendary tomes, books, pages. Acquire a certain number of. Oh, no, this is actually really good. Okay, I'm, I'm misreading it. So, books. But instead of just full-on books or scrolls, it drops pages. And then you add the pages together. You combine them into a book. Acquire a certain number of pages to combine into a book. This would give the players the option to grind for pages to convert into books. I'm sure they could make enough... Uh, make it enough of a grind to monetize it like everything else they do, but at least the free-to-play and low-spenders would have an option to reliably farm books. It would make the game much more playable long-term. We need this comment at the very top, reposted and repeated every day. So, let's delve into this. One, the idea behind this is phenomenal. I like it. I'm a huge fan. Now, looking forward four years later, because this is a four-year-old, almost five-year post, this is obviously... This obviously was not in the roadmap for Raid. Polarium isn't going to do this. I don't think they're going to do this. But yeah, four years later, sorry, reluctant uh, reluctant Lemming. Uh, it hasn't happened yet. I don't know if it's going to happen. But um, yeah, it would have been nice for this sort of thing to happen, for us to be able to have a way to farm legendary tomes, epic tomes, and rare books. Obviously, it would be great for the community, for the player base, but no. And the reason they, they don't is because they're making way too much money by or selling books. And you know what? People are going to buy these books. It's perfect. This thing just popped up out of nowhere. See? Legendary tomes. Legendary tomes. And now they have mythical tomes that they sell. Or if you want to just straight up go to the... Uh, what do you... Uh, let's see. Oh, here. More more right here. I, I used to buy this pack all the time for the legendary tomes. Where else? No, they had a... Um, where is it? I thought they had a section here where you could... Oh, you're right here. Look at this. Legendary Tome Pack. You can buy straight up Legendary Tomes. Mythical Tomes. You can buy it. So, if they were to give players a way to farm pages to make tomes, this value, the value of this would probably go down. That's just the way that it, it is. And I think that's that's the main reason behind why they didn't make it a point to add a book tower anywhere within raid and it's unfortunate because that would have been pretty cool the other argument is like he's right reluctant lemming is correct you polarium they could have found a way to monetize it like they do everything else and that could have totally been something that they could have done but unfortunately we look to the future and uh it doesn't change it's not changing so yeah uh upvote this if you think the next compensation should include a sacred shard the game and it's interesting looking at all these really old posts i think that man, that's uh it's pretty interesting to see what was like the main drivers behind people commenting these things back then versus what actually happened now so let's go let's look into this i saw the devil upvote this if you think the next compensation should include a sacred shard 
The game has been plagued by lags and bugs recently. A single Sacred Shard would help put the community at ease and show they care. With a 2x event coming up, people who have not been able to complete Fragment events, uh, this would be a great way to support the community. I mean, yeah, but I feel like that conversation is long dead in the water. They they took our they they took it away from us. What's this? I'm the idiot who thought the Astralon... Oh, that's right. Astralon was a fusion. Ended on Monday. Got stuck with four level 50 fully ascended Lodrics. Thanks, Polarium. Anna. Hello. As a rule, we do not add champions on players' accounts. However, we understand how much time and effort you spent on this fusion. That is why we decided to make an exception. I removed four Lodrics and one million silver and added Astralon to your collection. Please let us know if you need help with anything else. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you know, I, there was, so somebody in my clan accidentally went to the filter and this is what they did. And I'll, I'll explain why this, I'll, I'll explain to you in a bit why this is relevant to this post that we just saw. So what they did, I think was something along the lines of, I guess they, they just weren't paying attention. And so they were selling uh, primary stats, thinking it was substats. So, they ended up selling all of this and they clicked sell all and they sold it. All of their helmets, weapons, shields were all sold and it was gone. And so he contacted Polarium and was like, hey, I accidentally made a mistake. I made a big boo-boo. I made an oopsies. And they actually responded by, re, by uh, what do you call it? Re, um, what's the word? They rolled his account back to a certain time before he made that mistake. And they were like, hey, this is only going to be, this is a one-off thing. We're going to make an exception. Of course, he's a spender. So I think they were more <laughs> more privy to uh, want to accommodate him because he's a, he's a spender. But yeah, this is pretty, I like seeing that the Polarium Support Center actually goes out of their way to be a little more understanding. And, and you know, I, I would have to give it to them on this, you know, sense in this context. Like, yeah, they, they show... Now, let me let me backtrack before I, I speak further, right? This is Anna from Polarium Support. I think, and you can tell me what you guys think if I'm wrong or whatever, I think that there are developers and there are people within Raid who work for Raid that actually do care about the game. I, I genuinely think that there are people under Polarium's thumb who really want the game to be great, who really want the game to be good and do care about the community and they integrate themselves into the community like i'm an official content creator for raid and you know two of my points of contacts two of my pocs within the discord community have been nothing but but um amiable and they're so they're just they're so helpful and you can get the sense that they actually care about the community and you know my interactions with them the conversations that i've had with them all are, are all good and to see for a second time that Polarium support has actually provided some help to somebody who made a mistake uh, is kind of heartwarming in a sense. I really like that. By the way, I just re uh, realized we got to pull this. I've got enough for one pull. Hopefully I get um, Sam's, I mean, um, Vizig. Yeah. And, um, you know, actually, I wouldn't mind Ignatius. I've wanted Ignatius for a long time. I actually had Ignatius on alt account a long time ago, like back during COVID. This was back then um, when I first started Raid and they kept making multiple accounts. And apparently it's against the, the rules that you can't have, have you can't have multi, multiple accounts or like up to five or something. And they tag your devices so they know whether or not you're logging to multiples. And I had an account that started that I started and I got Ignatius and Septimus. And I'd never got Ignatius again. It would be cool to get him. Let's see. Mm. Mm-hmm. Siege Hulk instead. Well, big rip, big rip, big rip. Let's throw this into the Dark Fae while we're uh, talking about this. Yeah. So seeing uh, that there are some aspects or some people in player that care is really nice. All right, three years ago, petition to remove the substat charms instead of the five-star chicken and sacred. Yeah. Do you guys remember this right here? 
when they actually used to give players on a monthly basis sacred shards, this beautiful sacred shard where we get. They don't. They took this out. They took this out. They don't give this to us anymore. Big rip. Going for and now, now they just give us charms. It's it's weird. I wish they would take this out because I don't I don't really use these charms. So yeah. Going free to play until Polarium decides to increase energy along with level cap upvote if you're still... How old is this? I mean, I know how old it is, but... You merely adapted to free to... <laughs> you merely adapted to free to play. I was born in it. Molded by it. You have a very strong will. It's very easy to be a strict free to play player. Yeah? Dude, Lord B4. This guy has been in the community for a very long time. I've seen him here on Reddit. I've seen him in YouTube. In the YouTube comments as well. This guy plays. He's in the community. I like seeing that. I like seeing the same people comment on like my video. And I like seeing them in other content creators videos as well. I like seeing people who are in the community be in the community. It's awesome to see. Um, Yeah. <laughs> I have a weak wallet. It's uh, This is funny. Polarium employee quests. What is this? Three years ago. Place 10 simultaneous sales sales pop-ups on players immediately after they log into raid. <laughs> delete 200 emails of players' feedback suggesting an improve uh, suge with su ah. delete 200 emails of players' feedback and suggestions for improving raid. Remove two big rewards from players and report to shareholders that Riyadh players are happy. Craft a new event for players to win champions, ensuring that five rewarded champions are useless. That's pretty funny. With six shards, I'm not impressed, or I'm not surprised. Then again, I've just seen a streamer pull four legendaries from eight shards. Yep. Four from eight? That's nothing. I once saw a streamer pull a Draco Morph from no shards. Dude. Draco Gate. For those of you who don't know, Cartman. Let's see if we can find it. So there was a... We talked about this before. Draco Gate. Is it Cartman? Raid? Yeah. Um, Car where's the video? Basically, here. So there were, back a long time ago, there was a streamer who spent a lot of money. Uh, his name was Cartman. Let's say hi to Chosen again. Hey, old, old, old Chosen. Um, uh, let's see. Fun day to be a content creator. Tarth, I'm going to post 310 vid about a controversy. Chosen, hold my beer. That's pretty funny. Yeah, so there was a streamer slash content creator. I forgot what his full name is, so I can't look him up. But basically, he raged and got really mad at Polarium because he spent a lot of money to summon Draco Morph. And back then, you know, Draco Morph was a huge character, especially for Clan Boss, because he was one of the only champions that brought to the table decreased defense, weaken poisons, and he hit hard. He was like one of the champions to go to or to try to summon if you wanted to do a crap ton of... Or, like, do more damage in Clan Boss. Of course, things have changed, and this isn't the case anymore. But for the longest time, everybody wanted Draco. And so Polarium responded to Cartman being really upset by giving him a Draco Morph. And so that was the whole community uproar uh, because it was unfair. Later, I think later it was revealed, or it might have been before... That a lot of the content creators, one of the, some of the first ones who who were uh, uh, making content for raid, look at this. The campfire is not even here during this time. A lot of the content creators back then were given free legendaries. For an example, chosen himself was, and he apologized. He he made up for it. I gotta get it, I gotta give it to him. Uh, Polarium ended up giving legendary champions to content creators. For an example, they were like, "Hey, chosen, what champion? What legendary champion do you want?" He was like. I want a martyr. They sent it. They put it. They put martyr in his his uh his inbox and gave it to him. Later, he came out with a video where he fed martyr and any any you know any way that he could have benefited from martyr was no longer there or he basically got rid of it. But yeah, he said sorry. He was like, oh, it's, you know, it's not like a real thing and you know yada yada yada. That way past. That happened a long time ago. But yeah. That was that whole time. Man, COVID was a, th was a time. <laughs> time to bring back this post. Yep, we just saw it. Special request to the developers. 
I will go. Oh God, this is a lot. This is a lot. I don't know if I can read all that. Petition for energy level past 60. Oh, yes. Guys, you don't know this, but level 60 used to be the cap. Unless we spam it like mad, nothing's going to happen. Where was it? Beyond level 60. Oh, you know what it was? At level 60, the energy cap stops at 130. I don't remember. Was it somebody somebody correct me. Was the was the was the cap level 100? Was it? Cuz right now it's 100. What was it back then? Was it still 60? I can't remember. Pay to play or not, this is ludicrous. It's crushing my desire to continue. It shouldn't cost 2 million to improve your gear from 12 to 16. Yep. And they keep reposting this because it's a huge thing. Another daily login reward. Oh, this was an awesome gift. This was an awesome gift. For those of you here that, who remember this, this was basically like 30 what, $40 worth of rewards that they just gave to us during Christmas. I think this was during COVID. Yeah, it was really nice. A big thank you. I like it when they give gifts like this. New killable team world record. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, pl praying mourner. My fan art of Ursula the Mourner. Done on Procreate. Total time 15 hours. Wow. Hey, Ursula the Mourner though? Ursula the Mourner though? I'm just saying, I love my wife, but Ursula the Mourner, though? Picture so good. Um, picture so good, took it, got a screenshot. Picture so good, I'm going to frame it on my wall. I'd cry seeing my work on somebody's wall. Yeah, this is really nice. I like it when people in the community can do art like that. Farming 101, five years ago. Oh, this is a five year post. This is a five year post. What to farm, when to farm it, how to win. This is a lot. This is like its own its own video. But yeah, that that's a that's a lot. That that's an interesting post. If raid was seven, that's nice. Okay. Boyfriend asked me to draw this. I don't know what it says, but he says it's accurate. This is pretty cool. Yeah, Duchess carrying all of these champions, basically. That's pretty funny. Day one of a 2x event, 120 shards later. Look at all those chickens. That was a funny meme. Happy Friday, here's a low effort meme. Physics the unboat. <laughs> Physics the boat. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Oh, I fucking love the raid community. This is funny as shit. Holy shit, this is funny. Physics the unboat. Physics the boat. <laughs> Okay, this would solve a lot of problems for a lot of people. Yeah. It would. Polarium sending me gifts for voting for them. Me who voted for COD Mobile. <laughs> I guess I'll take it. Ayumi love campfire suggestion. Energy rebuilding, refill building. We all know this doesn't happen, but yeah. For those of for those of who uh, for though for all of us who didn't buy the battle pass for the love that all for the love of all that's holy please make this red indicator go away yeah this is pretty annoying this is pretty annoying here oh wow remember this this is old school this was during co dude everything was during covid this right here if you didn't buy the pass the red dot shows up so you have to go in there click it look at it and i think it's a tactic for them to make you want to buy the battle pass everyone yelling at polarium me who never bothered with fusions in the first place exactly this is what I'm talking about, guys. You guys can get mad about events and whatever, but you'd be a lot happier if you pick and choose what events you want to participate in. Truth. How many pops up? How many pop ups is too many? Wait, well, let's, let's start this again. <laughs> how many pop ups is too many? Let's see. Yep. Yep. I want to play the goddamn game. Holy shit. Let me play the fucking game. That's what I want to do. Just let me play the fucking game. 
Dear God. Now you can now you can play. We're, we're 20, is that 20, 21 seconds in? It takes 21 seconds to get through all the pop-ups. Best comment I've read so far in Palladium's response or RE? What does RE stand for to Doom Tower? Congratulations. This is so goddamn awful. Dishonest. I couldn't keep myself from commenting. We've made a few changes to the Turk to the current DT bosses to help them make them to help make them a little less easy. A little less easy to beat with gimmicks and a little more strategy oriented. What the hell are you talking about? To turn meter control a boss is a strategy and not a gimmick. It requires a speed tuned team that has to go pretty fast and at the same time has to bring a very high accuracy so it can so it can control the boss. Building a team like that costs resources and time, a lot of equipment farming, equipment leveling, and a number of different heroes. Champs don't work by themselves. You have to level, ascend, build, put them into the right gear so they can use their skills and then put them into the right team to activate them. So it's fine that we blow up the dragon with poisons. That we that we uh, turn me to control the fire knight and kill the spider with enemy max HP champs. It is valid as a strategy there, but in DT it turns into a gimmick. Art thou kidding me? The only thing you did is take options away. You force us from a number of strategies into a very much more specific strategies where um, where we need even more specific champions, but there's specifically there's a lot of specifics here. Needed key abilities and then no none of gimmicks that is strategy, then sure. Yeah, I, I mean I he pretty much explained it. I I get where he's coming from, but at the same time, nature of the beast. Rat Lord Silvarium for the raid content. Does this did this guy become a thing? I don't remember. Do you have any history of mental illness in your family? My son spends money on a game that he says is free. Yeah, Raid Shadow Legends is free to play. We need more content creators to call out Polarium for changing login rewards from two sacreds to five chickens to one four-star chicken. It's one of the worst free rewards nerfs in the game in gaming history. Yeah. Krampus? Was Kramp did Krampus become a champion? I don't remember. How 90% of YouTube guides go. How to beat any content in Raid. Get your champions. Level to 60. Ascend all. Get full masteries. Add ultra, min, max, end game gear. This is true. How do you get Warlord to one-shot the clan boss? Gear. Hey, Pilarium, you know that 2k energy you gave us to help on those COVID lockdowns? <laughs> Please, sir. I want some more. Yep. New champion leaked. N1 Cartman. Yep. This is this is oh, that's his name. N1 Cartman, the Draco Morph guy. Dear God. They made an Ayumi Love guide for this champion. Or for, for Cartman. Let's look at his skills. N1 Cartman's skills. Fuck you, Polarium. Attacks Polarium. Has an 80%, books up to a 100% chance of placing true fear debuffs for four turns. Cry like a baby on a two-turn cooldown. Attacks all YouTubers. Shames himself, uh, shames himself to hasn't dropped the loved hero. What? Shame himself to, anyway, fills the turn meter of this champion by 25% for each enemy hidden. Cry again, his A3. Threaten Polarium to stop donating to his followers and stop streaming raid. Obtain from Polarium any hero. Aura increases loser hero crit rate in all battles by 150%. Yeah, that's basically what he did. Thread and Polarium, cried to Polarium. Polarium didn't want the backlash. Boom, gave him Draco Draco Morph. This is why this is how we rate raid. One star. Game is good, but developers are greedy. The rest four stars. <laughs> the game is good, but the developers are greedy. The rest four stars. The other four stars in this right here. You can buy for twenty nine ninety. This is this is pretty funny. Stay home, stay safe. Ah, yes. This was a good reward too. During COVID, dude, I fucking miss COVID, dude. Nobody wanted to go out. I was so happy being at home doing nothing. Not being able to go out was was like a godsend. Nobody was out, so if you did go out, if you did go outside, the roads were empty. Like it was so it was so nice. Juliana cosplay. Let's see this cosplay. That's pretty in depth. I like that. Pretty good. I like it. That's a good Juliana. That's awesome. I like the arm. It looks realistic. And she's got the yellow hair too to match. Awesome work. Awesome work. Let's all stop spending money until they add the sacred chicken back. They never listen. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to. 
3.2 in a nutshell, any other game. We bring new fun content, quality of life improvements with each update, and we value our player base and listen to what they want. Raid. We made the Doom Tower 10 times harder and possibly unplayable for newer players because you guys were using older and lower rated, uh, lower rarity champions. Please buy shards. Yep. Leaving my fusion schedule for anybody else to follow. Skip. Yeah. Yeah. Dear retiring raiders, please be a solid friend and set your arena team to be weak and beatable before you install the game. Yeah. Before you uninstall the game, which is true, because if you go into, I mean, I can't show you guys now because I'm obviously, in, you know, not a retired player. But if you're a newer player, you might come across people who have like a godly defense, like, I don't know, Duchess, Mariska, Taris, and Dumago or something. I don't know. And you might be wondering if you're in bronze, like you just started the game, why are there champ why are there teams like that? It's because people retire from raid and they just completely uninstall without setting their defense to Warboy. Which would be the right thing to do, which would be the nice thing to do. But at the same time, like I, I get it. You just want to be done with raid. Upgrading artifacts right now. Oh my god, remember this? Remember this? Before they before they had um the quick the quick upgrades? I can't believe it took them so long to add quick upgrades. We used to sit there for two minutes. I would time it too. Two minutes to take an, a weapon, some uh, average two minutes, an average of two minutes to get uh, equipment from one to 16. And then we had to use blue stacks to try to use the frame rate trick to make these upgrades happen a lot faster. Bring back the sacred and, chick and chicken. Yep. It's year 2031. Raid Shadow Legends is releasing today. This is a lot to read. That's a lot. Every single 2x event ever. Content creators, save your gems. Use them pro to progress your account. <laughs> no. Using the big shard pack? Yeah. Honestly, though, I, I never really understood this. Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe I understand it, kind of. Because, yeah, it makes sense to use them to uh, use them for energy. But I, I like this. I personally am one of the few content creators that I know of that actually utilize the big shard pack. Maybe it's not the best. I don't know, but I, I use it. I like it. How many shards do I have right now? Ah, I forgot. It's been a... Here's the thing. I, and when, when this is done, I'll, I'll go check to see how many shards I have, but I'm pretty sure I have quite a bit. And the reason I don't pull shards too often is because I don't have anywhere to use any champion I would summon. Like, I could summon another Duchess my fourth duchess but what am i gonna do with it you know what i mean it's been over a year since hydra released i still don't know how hydra works and at this point i'm too afraid to ask this is true even i don't know how hydra works me checking how the clan boss team is doing you ever do that you ever just set your game you set your clan boss team or, or like an arena fight who was it someone in my let me let me try to find it someone in my clan um did this they they left their let me see if i can scroll up and find it ah here perfect right here he was like when you thought you clicked auto and get distracted would work bro he's been in this <laughs> he's been in this fight for almost 200 minutes bro 200 minutes he's been in this he thought he hit auto he thought he hit auto that that's funny 200 minutes yeah this has happened to me before you know what happened i i did um i did a hydra run i fell asleep during the hydra run and it was it was like an absurd amount of minutes in and not a single thing had been done polarium the words of your fan base made un made clear and uncensored what is this too long didn't read my message to Polarium, Polarium's response. This is not a response that warrants praise. Polarium is aware. Wait, what? What is this? This is the message. Uh, uh company has to make money first. I understood. What? That's this is a lot to read. I think I might have to revisit this one day. Maybe you're one of the people that need this message. You are not a loser if you don't do the fusion. You are not a loser if you can't 
won't spend money in a mobile game. You are not a loser. If you use your time to do something else, the losers are the people who make you think otherwise. This is just a game. You should have fun. If you are not having fun, this is not a game anymore. Right here. You know what? This is it right here. This is it. This is it right here. Boom. This is it. Simply cut. This is it. 